I feel now like the astronauts after they come back from space. Every one of them expresses this impression of how beautiful and how fragile the Earth is. I've seen our place in the cosmos, and it is here on this planet, and we need to protect it. We have a liftoff. I was a teenager during the 1960s when our country was leading the exploration of space. It just is remarkable to me that my own story turned out to be that I did the very same thing. I was chosen to be the team leader of the imaging team on the Cassini mission at Saturn. I felt like someone grabbed me by the hand and hauled me aboard this train that was headed for history. This put me in this wonderful position of being responsible for returning the visual record of our travels around Saturn that told of this story of our exploration. I wanted to make the images as captivating and as alluring as possible so people would feel inspired by what we were doing and feel a connection to humanity's exploration of the solar system. We're seeing the rings. We're seeing eruptions from the surface of Enceladus. We're seeing liquids on the surface of Titan. This was the stuff of science fiction, but it was for real. It was really happening. This culminated in this idea I had to take a picture of the Earth seen from Saturn. I called it the day the Earth smiled. We announced it to the world ahead of time go out wherever you are, look up and smile at the sheer joy of being on a pale blue dot. Think about how unique it is in our solar system, how bursting forth with life our planet is. After spending 40 years of my life exploring other planets, I've come home and what I've seen has told me just how special and precious our own planet is. We have to make sure children understand in how precarious a situation the Earth is and make them feel empowered to change it. My name is Carolyn Porco, and I think now the job is to be a guardian of our own planet. <laughs>